So when it comes to controlling the interview, I think some of the misconceptions about interviewing is that it's a one-sided conversation, meaning that the interviewer is supposed to ask you question after question after question after question, and then you just sit back and you give the responses. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. In what discussion have you ever had when you're engaged where one person is asking you all the questions and the only thing you can do is respond, and then at the end, you get to ask questions? None. And so when it comes to controlling the interview, one of the things you have to do is you have to turn the interview into a discussion. You have to think about it less as an interview and more about you having the conversation with the other individual across from the table, on Zoom, on the phone, or however it may be. But you have to make sure that as you're going through that conversation, not only are they asking you questions, but you're asking them questions as well. And what you're trying to do as you're asking them questions is one, you're trying to navigate this conversation so that you can direct it down to places where you have high, your hat, you have that high skill set, or you have the, the strongest aspects of who you are. If you allow questions to go down a path to where you may not have experience, or you may not have a lot of examples to be able to show what you can do, then you're going to be able to be put in a position to where kind of your back is against the wall and you're not being able to show your true self. And so if you navigate and guide that conversation by asking questions, asking how is this done in the organization, asking, you know, what type of things are they looking for in an individual to come into this role? What were some of the things that, you know, they wish they could have that they didn't have you know, previously? What's the future outlook of the organization? All these various different things. When someone says, you know, give me an example when you worked on a team and the project didn't go well, you turn around giving your answer and then coming back with saying, well, then how does the organization react when individuals fail? Is it a culture that promotes not necessarily failing, but having that bandwidth to do so, knowing that you can learn and grow? These are things that you, you need to kind of work into your interview so that as you're having that discussion and conversation, you're continuously indirectly showing why you're the best for that role. But then also you're taking the conversation down paths that are your strengths. And as you direct the conversation and you have that back and forth engagement, it's going to feel less like an interview and more like a discussion so that when you have that overall feedback from the interview team, it's that we were able to connect, we were able to engage with such and such. So as you control that interview, remember, ask questions, you know, don't ask a ton to where you just, they feel like you're interviewing them, but just pro, you know, just kind of, you know, pry along the way. Make sure that as you focus on areas that you know are strengths, you start to go down those areas, add additional examples that allow them to ask probing questions in those examples, which now guide them down that path that you want them to go on. And so all of these are various aspects as it relates to controlling the interview, which will help you as you go out on your next interview to get that job that you're looking for.